imagine having fun beyond your wildest dreams as fame to your fortune? A good tale of business success, not minding its ups and downs. Then you are probably living the life of Victoria Kimani. The Chalk City Diva has not only built herself a brand, but also one of the artists behind the success of the Chocolate City Music Group. Living calmly, yet success-driven, defines Victoria Kimani. Hello! Hello, hello! <laughs> okay, I guess I'll sit here. So please, can you explain to us, how did you get to this stage? Um, <laughs> you know, that's a very funny question. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a funny question because I don't know. I sometimes don't realize what stage I'm at. I don't even think about stages. I just think I'm working and I'm continuously working and hopefully it's paying off. It's like, you know, everybody, when everybody sees Victoria Kimani, it's just like, you know, working, like you're having fun. You just <laughs> love what you do because, you know, there's some people when you see on the screen, they'll be like, no, she's just forcing herself. Yeah. For you, it's like you're not even on the light camera action thing. Like you're yeah. just having fun. I mean, you just bump the camera. At you. Yeah. <laughs> so you just love you love what you do. I do. I love what I do a lot. It's a lot of fun. You know, it's it's hard work as well. Okay. Um, especially as a woman, because you know, constantly have to present ourselves in a certain way. Okay. You know, especially someone like me. Um, but it's fun. It's fun for the most. You have to. I believe you have to love what you do. Okay. So how well do you handle competition in the in the industry? Um, <laughs> you know, where I live in Kenya, um, there's all kinds of competition, but it's different kinds of competition. Mm -hmm. Like even here in Nigeria, when I come here, there's competition, but it's different. Like for instance, my competition in Kenya are like gospel singers. Okay. Why? Because that's the music that most people want to buy. Or it could be like um, an old guy, like some old guy singing traditional music. Okay. And that's my competition. What do I do? But you know what? I'm an artist, so I think about being an artist first. I don't think so much about what everyone else is doing. When, when, you, when, when you decided to become an artist, yes. did you decide to come to Nigeria or you decided to start from your hometown, Kenya? I started actually in the States. I was born in the States. Okay. And I started, you know, being an artist, singing, uh, songwriting from the time I was in the States. And then the plan was to come back to Kenya, which I did. And um, because Chocolate City is based in Nigeria, there, you know, I found myself going back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question because I'm surprised when you came in today, you were without no tats. <laughs> no. Like seriously, I saw your picture on Google and I like, do you like my new tat? I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> I was joking. Okay. That was Hina in, in, in Kenya, East Africa, and even Tanzania. We get a lot of like Hina okay. work done, especially during weddings and stuff. I think they, they call it Lali in, in Nigeria. And they call it Lali? They, Lali, like the okay. stuff they do for those um, Fulani people. Okay, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, is that what you did? That's what I did. And you deceived everybody on Twitter. Like, <laughs> and I did it for, uh, just for a video shoot. Oh, really? And, you know, I like to um, do all kinds of creative things with my body. I wouldn't do real tattoos like that because I think that's something that would be stuck for you on yeah. you forever. Like I would say, one of the most creative things on your body now is the hair. Yes, like, yeah, right now it's gorgeous. the hair. <laughs> I'm going to take that when I'm going. I think I'm going to go. <laughs> You're going to do blue, right? Okay, but are you a fan of tats? I do like tattoos, okay. but I don't think I want to get my whole sleeve done. You know, I think that's it's just too much. What's going to happen when I'm, like, 50 and I... And I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, this is, this is just not very, you know, but I do like tattoos. I like seeing them on people. I like small tattoos. Okay, so tell me your daily routine. Like when you wake up in the morning, what okay. do you do? Um, you know, the normal things, you wake up, you okay. brush your teeth, you okay. take a shower, you, you know, you pray, you ask God to bless a day. And, you know, it really just depends. Like the day like today, I've got a photo shoot. I might have some fittings later. Okay. Um, or maybe I'm recording or I've got some interviews to do. It really just depends. But when I'm not doing anything, 
you know, work-wise, I like to just relax at home and watch movies. Okay. I really like that. So, well, um, how would you define um, having your phone? Like, okay, how do you have your phone aside music? Um... Hmm. Well, like I said, hang out with my friends, okay. um, watch movies, we go to lounges, we, you know, it could be anything, I'm very spontaneous, so if at the last minute they all say, hey, let's go take a ride, like in the middle of nowhere, and like just, let's just go for a ride and come back, I'm, I'm very spontaneous. Okay, so have you ever thought of like giving yourself a break from the music industry and just trying to do other things? Um, no. I, I've, I've, I've never thought, since, especially since I've been doing this professionally, okay. I've never thought I need to take a break because it's not like I wake up at you know, 6 a.m. and I'm, I'm going to bed at 12 midnight every night and I'm just music and I need a break because there's a lot of breaks in between. Mm -hmm. Like I could have a really busy week now and then like next week you know, for two or three days out of the week, I'm literally not doing anything. So there's little breaks in between. Okay. She is devoted to her job and proud of it. And people wonder why so much love for it. Well, Victoria has a simple answer for that. Man, I love my job. <laughs> it's really cool, you know. You get to create all day. You get to make music. You get to be creative in your fashion. And you get to meet new people and, you know, express yourself. Her colleague must see themselves lucky and happy to work with such a diligent, loving, and hardworking diva. So talking about Victoria Kimani, I'm going to split her into two. Victoria Kimani, the artist, and Victoria Kimani, the friend, the personality. The first time I met Victoria was in 2013. I think I went to pick her from the airport. And I was like, wow, who is this lady? She has a huge character, a huge personality. And the funny thing is, even the fact that she changes her hair color all the time, you never really can say, oh, that hair color is ugly. That's just to show how versatile she is. But anyway, talking back to the music. The first time I heard her sing was when she did a cover for Oleku. I don't know how many people have heard that cover, but that was what made Chocolate City sign her in the first place. I liked what she did with the sound. I liked the tone of her voice. Um, apart from the cover she did, she's released other singles called Untoto. She did Oya with M.I. She released Wo and uh, Pokuto, a video and a song she did with uh, Diamond and uh, Omi Dimples. And she is proud to be signed under one of the most successful record label in Africa. Yeah. So tell I'm us very about proud it. to be a part of Chocolate City. They are. You know, they're amazing. They're a group of uh, amazing people that love music. And, you know, outside of that, there are some very talented artists. You know, you've got Ice Prince, you've got M.I., Nosa, Price, DJ Case, um, Dice L's. And then there's some new artists, too, that are, that are coming on board. Okay. So it's just, I love what's happening. I think it's just a lot of new, fresh air that's being blown into the company with the new artists. And... It's, it's different. It's cool. I think that we, unlike the other labels, we are more free to make any kind of music that we want to make. We don't have to stick to like certain you know, boundaries that, that other people do. So I like that we can be a lot more free musically. Okay, aside from when people see you in the music, you dress so gorgeously. Oh, thank you. You, 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 you. Your costume is just so, I don't some people, sometimes people are like, are you African? And I'm like, this is a Kenyan girl, like she's really, really good. But personally, are you that kind of? You mean like with my fashion? Yeah. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not, whatever that okay. means. I don't think I am. I think I just like to wear, you know, whatever I like to wear. Another thing is, I was raised in the States where, you know, there's freedom of expression. So you, you go to there, you, sorry, you, you can walk around on a normal day and see people with green hair, you know, yellow hair, <laughs> and they, they decide to go to the mall in a bathing suit if they want to, or maybe some little shorts, and it's not really a big deal. Okay. You know, whereas here, if you wear something indecent, people will say, hey, like, what is that? What are you wearing? Like, what is this? Okay. You know, so I'm, I, I'm coming from a place where I'm, everyone is free to be an individual okay. and just express themselves however they want to, okay. you know, with their clothes. So I, I'm that kind of person. It doesn't mean that, you know, I have to be indecent or something. Because I know when you come back to home to Africa, it's a lot different. Your parents are yeah, here. Sure. You kind of have to cover up a bit more. But I don't mind doing that as long as I can still keep a personality in my clothes. I don't want to look like everyone else. Okay. Um, can we say Victoria Gray's sense of humor volunteer to the success of her career? Having strong, friendly, and reliable relationship 
with colleagues within and out of the industry. Like, how do you, because when everybody sees you, like, you're just the business kind of, maybe you love music, but I think you're good at the other side, amusing people and all. Well, you know, I don't think you should take life too seriously. You should <laughs> just have fun, and honestly, like, it's, it's never that serious. And my dad is a funny guy. Okay. So I think I probably get it from him. Okay. How well are you good at culture? Culture? African culture, yeah. Um, I think I'm very good, with, with, especially with my culture in Kenya. Okay. You know, we have... Um, a rich culture, but it's been kind of watered down because even when you go there now, you won't see too many people wearing, you know, they wear here rapa and head wraps and native. We don't really wear that too much. Okay. We, but we have our culture in different things like jewelry. Like this is a Kenyan neck piece. Wow. This is a Kenyan bracelet. Okay. So you would never really know unless you ask the person because it's they try to make their culture very mainstream. Oh, okay. So what project are you working on next? Um, okay, well I just released a music video for a song called Brokoto. Yeah. It's featuring two Tanzanian artists. Okay. And um, next, I'm working on new singles and new videos. Okay. And I'm just planning on putting out more music. More music. Are we expecting any album yet? Soon. Not yet. Okay. But soon. Soon. Soon, definitely. Does the Brokoto um, have a dance step you want to know? It does. It has a dance okay, step. Okay, can you tell us a dance uh, step? <laughs> Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you when we're shooting. Okay, when good. I'm, when I'm in the... Yes, good. Thank you very much. <laughs> no All right, problem. thanks, Victoria. No problem. And nice hanging out with you today. And of course, I told you I'm going to steal your hair. You did, actually. Yes. All right, let's okay. find a way. <laughs> it matches your top. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and that'll be all on Lifestyle Exposé. You've heard it all from the Choke City Diva, Victoria Kimani. If you enjoyed this week's episode, do keep a date with us next week. And for further details, you can contact us on lifestyle at webtvng.com or our social media platform, Facebook and Twitter. Do have a pleasant weekend.